In this video, we're going to complete example four. I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel to calculate an interest rate. Grant would like to borrow $5,000 from a local lending institution named Loan Sharks. He is told that he will have to pay $500 at the end of each month for the next 12 months. What annual interest rate are they charging if interest is compounded monthly? Now already we can see that this institution is called Loan Sharks, which says to me that they rip people off. So this interest rate is probably going to be very high. Anyway, looking at our formula, we'll start by finding NPER, or the number of time periods. It says here that it's over a period of 12 months and our repayments are paid monthly. So NPER is going to be 12. Next, we need to find PMT, which is the repayment. And Grant pays $500 each month. So PMT is $500. And remember, we need to check whether this is a positive or negative amount. Going back to the picture of our wallet, remember that a repayment is a negative amount because it's an outgoing. If you imagine a wallet with your money in it, every time you make a repayment, that money comes out of your wallet. So we need to write down that it's negative. $500. The next thing we need to know is our present value or PV. And what we notice is that Grant borrows $5,000 and he's borrowing this at the beginning. So our present value is $5,000. It's the amount of money that he borrows. Now going back to our wallet, we need to think to ourselves, is this an ingoing or an outgoing? and he's borrowing $5,000, meaning that he's being given it and he gets to put it in his wallet. So it's an ingoing, it's a positive amount. Once again, this seems to go against what we think it should be. It's a loan, we think it should be negative, but it's an ingoing, it's got to be positive. Next, we've got our future value. And because it's a loan and we're trying to pay it off, our future value will be zero dollars because by the end of the time period we want to owe the loan sharks nothing. Next we have our type and you'll notice that the repayments are made at the end of each month. Type zero means end of the month and type one means the beginning of the month. So we're going to use type zero. And finally at the end it says guess here and I just want to mention that I have no idea what this means so just leave that blank. So we're going to go into Microsoft Excel and I'm going to click on cell C7 equals rate open my brackets and you'll notice the first thing they want is the number of time periods which is 12 comma and then our repayment which is negative $500 comma, our present value, which is $5,000, which is a positive amount, comma, our future value, zero, comma, our type is zero, it's at the end of the time period, and for our guess, we're just going to leave it blank and close it off with brackets, remembering that if your future value and your type are both zero, you don't have to type them in. Enter and we get a value of 3%. So we'll write down that R, our rate, is 3%. Now some of you might look at that and say, well, that's a really low interest rate. You said that this is probably going to be a high interest rate because this institution is called the Loan Sharks. They're probably going to rip you off. Well, you need to remember that this interest rate is 3% per month because everything was calculated monthly. So we need to convert this to a yearly interest rate. 3 times 12 gives us 36% per annum. So we can see that the loan sharks are rip ripping off Grant. They're charging him 
36% per annum, which is an extremely high interest rate. And you've got to be very careful with this because there are institutions out there that charge extremely high interest rates. And you need to figure out what the interest rate is before you borrow money from institutions like this. Anyway, that concludes our video on example four. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.